So if you're struggling to find a beanie that suits you, I don't blame you. Finding the right beanie can be really difficult. First of all, when they're off your head, they all kind of look the same. Secondly, shopping for a beanie online is one of the hardest things to do. For some reason, websites think it's a good idea to not show the beanie on someone's head. How are we supposed to see how a beanie fits if it's not on someone's head? We can't see how snug it fits, or how long it is, how short it is, or how it fits at all. And almost as bad is when the website does have a model, but the model's head is positioned at an angle where you can't see the full hat. And I've even seen it when the model is pulling the beanie over their face. How's that gonna help? Anyway, I digress. This video isn't about tearing apart beanie pictures online. It's about how to find a beanie that suits you best. I'll be talking about what beanies to avoid and what to go for instead, and the different ways of wearing your beanie so you can get the look that you want. But if you like this video at any point or it helps you out, please feel free to drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So let's start off by talking about what not to go for and what to go for instead. So the first thing to avoid is anything that's too slouchy, like those slouchy beanies back in the early 2000s that everyone loved. These days, I think they look really dated and they give off a bit of a sloppy look. I have to come clean though. I used to absolutely love these when they were all the rage and I wore one all the time, but let's keep that between us. I'd also generally avoid a beanie with a bobble on top. Sometimes they look good, but they're harder to get right. I think they give off a bit of a younger look and there's definitely better options out there. And I'd also avoid any beanie that doesn't have a cut. If you go for a beanie without a cuff, it can sometimes look like you've just got a bandage on your head, which isn't a great look in my opinion. Just look at how disappointed these two look with their beanies with no cuff. You can see the sadness in their eyes. In my opinion, a cuff beanie just gives the beanie and your face more shape. It just shows where your beanie ends and your face starts, or your face ends and the beanie starts. I've confused myself here, but hopefully that makes sense. Basically, the ridge of the beanie looks good. So a cuff beanie is definitely my recommendation, but they come in all different shapes and sizes and different thicknesses. So which is gonna be the best for you? So some people are gonna look better with a beanie that sits close to their head, and others are gonna look better with a beanie that adds some height to their head. And some people are gonna look good in both styles, like this guy I follow over on Instagram called Paul Binham. He just seems to look good in every type of hat. Unfortunately, we're not all as lucky as Paul, including myself, so let's find what suits you best. So let's talk about the fisherman beanie first. So this style of beanie normally sits close to your head and above your ears. Now I know not everyone likes this style, but I think it gives off a great look if it suits you well. Now these hats look good on both long hair and short hair, although personally, I think they look best on someone with a shaved head or with a short haircut or a fade. And if you are someone who looks good with a shaved head, then you're probably gonna suit one of these. The reason is because they sit so close to your head, they kind of give off the same look as a shaved head, if that makes sense. To be honest though, if you look good with a shaved head, then you're one of the lucky ones because you're probably gonna pull off most beanies. And if you look good with a shaved head, but you still don't think you look good in beanies, then it's probably because of the way you're wearing them. And we'll get into that later. And if you're someone who doesn't look good with a shaved head, then you might wanna go for something that adds a bit more height to your head. Also, if you've got a rounder face and you don't wanna draw more attention to it, then avoid wearing a fisherman beanie. As it sits so close to your head, it's gonna follow the shape of your head and it might make it look even rounder. So again, go for something that adds a bit of height to the top of your head. On the other hand, or head in this example, if you've got a longer face, then wearing something that adds too much height to the top of your head may make it look even longer. And I know we touched on it, but the length of your hair can make a huge difference to the look a beanie gives off. I wouldn't really choose to wear a fisherman beanie when my hair's long. I'd rather go for something that adds a bit more height to the top of my head because I think it balances out the long hair that comes out underneath. And if you've got long hair, don't think you can't wear beanies. I think some of the best looks come from having long hair and wearing a beanie. And when it comes to the thickness of a beanie, I don't like anything too thin or anything that sits too tight to the head. And I don't mean like a fisherman beanie where it sits snug to the head. I mean when it's tight to the head all over. Like this hat, for example, it kind of gives off that bandage look again, even though it does have a cuff. But on the other end of the scale, if you go for something that's too chunky, it can sometimes add too much bulk to your head. So I'd recommend going for something that sits somewhere in the middle. And then to make things even more difficult, once you find a style of beanie that works best for you, not every single beanie in that style is gonna look good on you. Let me show you what I mean. So here's me in a beanie that I 
found that I really like. The thickness of it, the height and the stitching are what I normally go for. So when I talk about the stitching I go for, it's normally got this pattern, but I have no idea what it's called. If you know what this is, let me know down in the comments. So anyway, this beanie ticks all of the boxes for me and I like the way it looks. But now let's take a look at this black beanie. Now off the head, it ticks all the boxes for me. It's got a decent thickness to it, a decent height, and it's got that stitching again. So off the head, it looks and seems really similar to the beige beanie, but when I put it on, it looks absolutely awful. I just really don't like the shape of the top of this beanie on my head. It looks really odd. So it's no wonder you can't find a beanie that suits you. They make no sense. But what I'm trying to say here is don't write off a style immediately if you've only tried on one hat in that style. You might have been unlucky and just got a bad hat. And maybe you already own the right beanie for you, but it's the way you're wearing it that makes it not suit you. Most of us think that we need to wear our beanies pulled right down over our ears so it covers the whole top of our head. And yes, when it's freezing cold outside, this is definitely the right way to wear it. But from a style point of view, it doesn't always look good on most people, including myself. So what I like to do is push the beanie up a bit so it sits just above my eyebrows. It's still covering my ears, but not so much and I tilt it slightly to the side. I don't know why I like it slightly tilted to the side, I just do. But if you despise the look this gives off, then don't do it. For example, you may prefer to tilt your beanie back a bit and show off a bit more forehead. This is not something that I do, but it might work really well for you. Or maybe you wanna add some more height to the top of your head with your beanie, so you wear it just above your ears. Now, a lot of people look great when they do this. Again, it's not something that I do, but some people pull it off really well. You could also cuff up your beanie twice and get the look of a fisherman beanie or you could just buy a fisherman beanie and then you don't have to do this. Unfortunately, I've never had much luck with fisherman beanies, so I don't tend to wear them, but maybe they'll suit you better than they suit me. So even though beanies seem like such a simple thing to wear, you just put them on your head, right? Well, as we've seen from this video, it's not always as simple as that. They can be an absolute nightmare, so if you struggle to find one that suits you, don't worry, you're not alone. But use the tips in this video to find a style that you like and one that you think will work well for you and then it's just a case of trying as many on as possible until you find one that you like. And just to be completely honest with you, I don't think I've found my perfect beanie yet, but then again, does that even exist? So I hope you don't feel disheartened. I wanted to be real with you. It's not easy, but I hope you learned something anyway or you enjoyed the video at least. If you did, please do leave the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you later.